Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Shauna. Um, this is another plant-based recipe for you. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss the video. So this week, you will see how I make my sorrel puree using fresh sorrel. So stay tuned for this video. In here I have fresh sorrel that I bought from the market and this is a pound of sorrel. You see they are very big and juicy and here these darker ones I got them from my landlord's garden. So I'll be using this to make sorrel puree. So sorrel puree can be used to make jam, sauce, in your sorrel cake and I will be making a sorrel cake with this puree. So the, what I did initially was to thoroughly wash the sorrel and drain it. If you are in the States or you are a broad and you cannot put your hands on fresh sorrel you can also use the dried ones because the dried ones I believe are still good because um, what they did was to dry them so that they can um, last long without preservatives so I believe it's still good but because I'm here in the Caribbean I don't need to use the dried ones so um, yes don't miss out on um, I did also a sorrel video so check that video out I'll put the link above so you can check it out but sorrel is very good and yes to know that the water is boiling Boiling, I add a, a washed a piece of cinnamon stick for flavor and I add a little piece of ginger. I'll let it boil for two to three minutes so some of the flavors can be extracted. Then I'll add my sorrel. I forgot to mention I added three cups of water to the pot that is boiling. I'll just add my lovely sorrel to it. So I'll just get a spoon and squeeze them down somewhat. You don't want to add too much water to it. Uh, we will use the water that's in there to blend to blend the sorrel so we get our puree. So this is fine guys. This is good. The water that's in it is good. I will now put the lid on. Let it boil for two to three minutes and then I'll check back on it. Now that the sorrel has come to a boil, time now to turn the stove off. So I'll put the lid on. Turn it off, let it steep for one to two hours and let it cool and then we will blend it. I left the sorrel to cool for two hours. So it's now cool, so now it's blending time. So what I did was to separate the juice from the petal and I now add nine ounces of to the cup. So I'll add some of the petals. I'm not going to blend everything at once. Blend it in. So I will blend. I'll just add more petals to it now. I will blend it. I will use this for my sorrel cake that's coming up. So this is the puree. It's very smooth. Not too thick. Pour some in this so you can see the consistency of it. So thank you for viewing, thank you for tuning in, until next time when I have another video for you so stay tuned guys, have a blessed um, holiday season and stay tuned to my channel for more and more recipe, stay tuned for my sorrow cake, thank you for viewing and subscribing, see you next time.